So, um, I really like fun hacks. But what I fucking love is hacks that somehow get wings and then start to be something bigger. And of one of these things I would like to talk, uh, talk to you about what is called E3E -E Monitor. It started basically last year, and what we wanted to do is we wanted to do something that has some impact afterwards. And we looked what could have impact, and we looked what could be the biggest thing that you what could have impact? News. If you look at news, what do you see? What do you see in the normal news? Huh? Negative stuff, yes, we wanted to change that. So, what we said is, one thing that I'm really passionate about is explosions in cities and populated areas. Reason being is that they result in deaths, injured people, you lose electricity, you lose water, you got a lot of problems with that. If you look at the numbers, uh, 3,000 people killed, this is only March of this year. Huh? If you look at this, how wars happen today, they happen mostly in populated areas, who are killed, civilians, not the military personnel. This is the war of today. It was different years ago. Huh? It was different in the First World War when armed conflicts typically happened outside of cities. Today, they happen in cities. Today, they happen with explosions. Today, they kill children and women. Old people. So, what we wanted to do is we wanted to make an explosion monitor. There are monitors around for floodings, there are monitors around for earthquakes, we have monitors for lightning, lightningmaps.org. You can go online and see where lightning happens. Real time, no, not real time, three seconds delay. We want the same for explosions. Why? Because today we know about explosions from a narrative basis. Journalists, governments tell us when explosions happen, where they happen. We want to put that on a scientific basis. So what we started to do is we started to develop software and hardware which enables to make real-time maps where you see where explosions happen, when they happen, and to provide this to, to people openly, huh? open access. Not always real-time, I will tell you some reasons for that, but we want to enable peacekeepers, humanitarian missions, media huh? to know about explosions right now. Also, the general population should know when and where explosion happens. Airlines, huh? very recently, uh, quite sad happening. Huh? Airlines should know if there's some explosion happening just under their flight line. Lawyers of the international court, for example, war crimes, and academics to study. So I have three main, uh, three main messages for you. And the three messages are, go out of your comfort zone. Huh? Ask people who have never programmed what you should hack on. Go to your grandmother and ask what you should hack on. And the other one is, don't be afraid of big topics, of a real big topics. The worst thing is that you change the world. Thanks. <laughs>